Hey y'all, it is your girl Tiggy. I am in the middle of setting up a new theme on my phone with Total Launcher, but I thought I would come to you guys and show you another alternative to making a status bar with Total Launcher instead of Zuper Widget. So if you can't purchase Zuper Widget, um, go ahead and just buy the Total Launcher and unlock everything. Um, I bought it from day one, so I'm not too sure if this will work if you do not purchase the Total Launcher and unlock everything. But I thought I'd come to you guys and show you this because this is a cool feature. You are able to create your own status bar um, with dynamic images. Um, this is something that will help your images actually move. So if you are a person who has purchased iPhone themes, um, and if you haven't purchased iPhone themes from anyone, I would suggest definitely checking out Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram. You will see that I follow a lot of creators who make themes. I always purchase the iPhone versions only because they do include the UI themes as well. So that is why I go ahead and purchase those and not the Android versions. I want the UI images, so I just go ahead and buy the iPhone pack. So what I'm going to show you today is how to create these dynamic images so that your battery will actually change. So if it's 10%, 20%, 30%, it'll fluctuate uh, between the images as well as like your LTE and your, si your Wi-Fi signals, your clocks, things like that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to go into your editing. Once you go into your editing, you're going to hit the plus sign in the top right. Also, I'm using a stylus. I would definitely suggest using a stylus for this only because the dy dynamic images, you're going to add them one at a time and you have to like move them. So it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt if you don't have a stylus and you're like me and have big fingers. So um, then you're going to go ahead and hit graphic. Once you hit graphic, you're going to hit on image at the top right. Then you're going to hit do nothing and you're going to hit dynamic image. This is where you're going to be able to add one. So hit the plus sign and then we're going to change this because the first thing I like to do is my battery status. So I already have the UI images in my gallery. So go ahead and load yours in as well. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tap one. The first option now this specific um, battery does not really fluctuate too much but I still want to add all the images in so you're gonna hit on the first option default and you're gonna hit image and you're gonna add once you add you're gonna go ahead into your gallery and you're gonna look for the UI images mine typically are at the bottom so here's the UI image pack I'm gonna hit on the first one and tap it and load it up then I'm going to hit on the second one, add an image. Remember what I said, this one doesn't fluctuate too much, but if you have packs that have like 100, 10%, 20%, that's even better. Then you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to hit UI image and you're going to have hit the next one. Image, tap the battery, and then now you see... I have these three filled and I'm just going to keep doing that with the same image because like I said again this does not fluctuate much Okay, now if you have other ones that are full or charging, you can add those images in there as well. I don't have those, so we're just going to leave it at that. So we're going to hit OK. Then I'm going to tap on this. And of course, you're going to resize and make it smaller so that it actually fits in your status bar. And you're just going to move it wherever you want it to go. So again, I'm using a stylus to do this. Just because as you can see, the images are really small and it can be a little bit of a pain to move everything. Um, so I'm using a stylus. And even still then, it still can be a little bit of a pain. But you guys, I have faith in you. 
And then what's really nice is using Total Launcher, um, I will also show you how to disable your status bar so that this, you can make this as big or as small as you want. Um, so it's really nice. So now that we have that one, which of course I will go ahead and edit later and make it a little bit smaller. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to go ahead and show you guys how to get this done. So the next thing you're going to do is hit your plus sign again. You're going to hit graphic and you're going to hit image. Do nothing, dynamic image, and plus. Now it says label and type. So what you're going to do is go to type. And we're going to change this to, we're going to say signal strength. So then what you're going to do is you're going to hit, you, if you have a disconnected image, you can add that in there as well. I don't um, have one of those, so we're not going to worry about that today. But I'm going to hit level one, image, add, go right back to that same uh, gallery and look for my album. Now with this one, as you can see, the lollipops are different numbers. So this is one, image, plus, go back to my gallery, scroll all the way down, and then this is two, image, plus, Gallery. Let's go all the way down again. And then three and so on. So let me go ahead and finish this up here. The last one is four, which is great. So we're going to go ahead, go back into the gallery and finish it off with number four. Boom. So then you're going to hit OK. Then we're going to tap on that signal. We're going to resize and make it smaller to fit up in the status bar nicely and drag it up. I like mine to be up here, so that's kind of where we're going to put that at. And then the battery I'll have to resize, but I will get that done later. Then we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign again, hit graphic, hit image, do nothing, dynamic image. Plus, and then we're going to do, let's see what's up here. Do, 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 do. Mobile data. So what I like to do is go to image and plus and look for the ones that say LTE. Sometimes I do use a combination of two different UI images just because I like how it looks, but you don't have to. Let's see if this one has it. So what I'm going to use for the LTE, you can use a combination of things and or like I said, if you have another one, this one says LTE. So I'm going to use this one and load them up for that one. And then for off, I am going to load up that locket that was in my gallery. So we're gonna scroll down and hit that locket and hit OK. Then we're going to tap on LTE and resize that as well and scroll up and put that next to my lollipops. Ooh. This is why I said to use a stylus because as you can see it can be a little irritating. And then there's the LTE. And then um, if you do have other images for batteries or if you find some, you're more than welcome to also use your own. 
um, to achieve these different looks. And as you can see, you can just kind of keep loading things up in that same way you do them. So I hope this was helpful to you guys to go ahead and get some dynamic images on your status bar that actually change. Um, if you have any more questions, please drop them below and or follow me on Instagram. I do have a Telegram group where I've been adding people as they DM me their Telegram names. So I will definitely drop down the link to Telegram as well. So if you don't have it, you can go ahead and grab it. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and much love. Thank you.